From time to time, you might find yourself needing to restore any settings back or even some sort of hardware failure. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you go about restoring each individual component. We go through the Unify Network Controller, Unify Protect, and we have a look at the Unify Door Access. There are a few things along the way that might get you, so be sure to watch the whole video to see how it's done. If you enjoy the video and find it useful, please hit the like button and drop me a comment below and let me know if there's anything else you want to see. So let's jump straight in. I'm gonna show you my setup at the moment so you can see what we're like before and once we've done a restore and how that looks. So if I go to networks for now, um, show you my devices, I've got three devices, they're all connected, uh, four devices in total, sorry, all connected, all my clients, um, are all connected, wired and wireless, they're all working fine. If we go back and have a look at Protect, um, I'll show you I've got two cameras set up, um, there's some activity along here, um, what's happened there, and if I go back to Access, you can see I have a few elements here, there's some policies, um, there's some visitors, users, NFC cards, that's all set up and running. So the scenario I'm painting here is your UDM Pro has just gone pop and you need to replace it and restore your settings and backup. So what I'm actually going to do is go down to settings here, advanced, and I'm actually going to hit factory reset. So I've actually gone through and already taken a backup, but actually what I will do is take you through each area and show you how to take a backup. So in network, you would go to settings, system settings, maintenance, update and restore. Uh, it's slightly annoying with the new settings, they don't always have it. So go to classic and you can see here I've downloaded the latest settings from here. Let's take a look at protect. Protect is a similar sort of thing, you go into it, you go to settings, uh, backups, and you can actually just download your backup from here. So we're downloading that one. And last but not least, we go to access, we go to settings, backup and recovery, and we can press backup. Uh, and when you click backup, it says where do you wanna save your backup file to? So we've already downloaded those three things. So as I mentioned earlier, we'll go ahead and restore the UDM Pro. So to do that, um, we go to settings, then go down to advanced, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see factory reset. So let's kick off the factory reset, click confirm. So that's gonna go off and do that. So one thing you will need to do is once you've done a factory reset and it's back up and running, you'll need to run a cable from your UDM Pro to your machine because all your IP addresses have been reset, your networks are still available, but it doesn't know how to route. So unless you're using the standard 192.168.1 that comes out of box, you may be okay. However, if you've changed your default subnet, you're gonna have to plug physically into the UDM Pro. So I'll quickly show you that now. So it's gonna stay on this page for a little while purely because one, my Wi-Fi network I could show you, um, I am connected to my network, however, it's not going to work because it can't route its way back. Um, I am using something on a 10 network. So what I'm actually going to do now is plug in a network cable. I actually have a network cable here which is plugged into my UDM Pro. So I'm just plugging that into my laptop. Uh, just go to Network Preferences and you can see I've got an IP address of 192.168.1.62. So just going to go back here, uh, type in the default gateway of the UDM Pro. There you go, a nice graphical info, uh, intro there for you. Um, so I'm just going to quickly zoom in slightly so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, so agree to the terms and conditions. So your machine has gone pop and you've set up your new UDM Pro. Um, you've plugged it in, you've plugged all your cables back in, and now you're going to set it up. So we click next. Uh, type in your username and password. I have two-factor authentication set up, so just quickly type in my code. 
Bear in mind that at this point, I have connected my internet back to my UDM Pro, so it's still connected there. So if you ever get to this point and you can't go any further, you need to make sure your WAN connection is plugged in. Um, disable this for the time being, we'll click next. Um, we don't want to optimize the network at this point. We'll click next. It's going to do some speed tests, but we'll skip them. Uh, 540, next. And then you click finish. So that's just going to go off now and finish setting up the UDM Pro device. So we'll let that happen. Okay, so that's my UDM Pro back up and running now. So I'm just going to quickly jump into Protect. You can see no cameras are being shown. Um, it's showing my IP address as 192.168.1.1. If we go to access, you can see it's telling me to set this up. Um, and if we go to network, if we go to devices, you can see it says managed by others. It is very faint, but it does say managed by other. So we actually are set up on something else. If we go to clients, a lot of my stuff have picked up a 192 address, which I don't want. Um, it's not my network, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and restore our Unify network. Actually, just before we restore the network, let's start by updating our equipment. So let's go to applications, let's check for update on protect. Okay, there's an update there, so let's check also a protect for uh, an update for access. Okay, so we have a couple of updates, so let's update this to the latest version. Um, bear in mind if your restore file is on a newer version than what your UDM Pro is, it's going to fail or it's going to give you some sort of issue. So just make sure everything is up to date before you do your first restore. Okay, and we'll do the same with access now as well, just update that one. Okay, that's done as well. So what we'll start off by doing, as I mentioned, is we'll restore our network settings. So let's get that back up and running properly. So let's go to settings. Uh, we don't want to see this. Uh, we don't want to see any tutorials. There's nothing set up. There's nothing in the networks. Um, so if we go to system settings, scroll down to maintenance, update and restore. And what we want to do is restore from backup. Um, so you can do it here. Um, and I'll just quickly show you in the classic settings as well. So you would just go to backup. I'm actually covering that at the moment. So it's right here in the bottom corner. So you'd click backup. And then you would literally just go to restore backup. So I'm just going to do it here since I'm here. But you would pick your backup file, which is the auto backup, and we'll open that. And then it's saying, are you sure you want to go ahead and restore to this? This was created at 10 a.m., which is fine. We want to confirm. And now your system will go off and be restored. Now, two things to bear in mind. At the moment, you're connected to 192.168.1.1. So this will time out eventually because it will get assigned its new IP. So best thing is just to give it a few minutes and then go back to unify.ui.com um, and make sure it becomes available. So at this point, I'm unplugging my network cable and I'm joining the wireless again. So um, we'll let that go ahead and do that. So I've unplugged my network cable and if I go back to network preferences, I'm gonna turn on Wi-Fi again. So the Wi-Fi is gonna join. I don't wanna join the guest network. I just wanna join my normal network. So give it a minute because it's gonna go ahead and restore everything. So we'll do that in the meantime and we'll give that a minute while that completes. Okay, and we're back and as I mentioned, go to unify.ui.com and I'll show you that I'm connected back to my network. Just open network preferences, show you I am connected to the Wi-Fi at 10.1.1.102. So it looks like it's restored my network settings, but we'll go in and have a quick look. So <clears throat> let's have a look at devices first. So whereas before it was showing managed by others, but now it's all connected, which is great. If I look at my clients, they're slowly picking up IP addresses. Some of them still are showing 192, but that could be just down to the system playing catch up. So that's great. So that's the first one. If I go back to my settings, uh, let's go back to new settings. You can see it's got my Wi-Fi, my network's available, everything is set up and running. So in terms of my network now, that is fully restored. Um, the next thing we want to look at is probably protect. So if we go to protect, we can see that it's showing no cameras again, so zero. 
If we go to settings, backups, it's just taken a backup just now and it's giving you the option to restore. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to import file from backup. So it's saying, do you want to import? We're saying, yes, we do. And then it says import successful. So if I go view all backups, we'll give it a minute for it to update. So then you'll see the backup appears. So then we just want to hit restore. And it's saying, do you want to, are you sure you want to restore to this backup? And yes, we do. And then that's just going to go off and restore that backup for you. So we'll give that a minute while that happens. So that's now restored back. So hopefully, fingers crossed, if I click on my cameras, yep, you can see they're, they're back now. So both of them are there, they're working. Um, if I want to go to live feed, we can have a quick look. And uh, just ignore the mess just there, but it's just facing the wall at the moment. And same with the other one. Now, I don't currently have a drive plugged into this, but my assumption would be if the data is on your drive, you should be able to view it again. Um, but I haven't tested this. Maybe it's something for another video. So now that we've done that, we can move on to access. So we've already looked that if we go back to here quickly, we already have a look at the applications and we know access is already up to date. So now it should be a case of just what we've done with the other two, go into it and do a quick restore. So let's go in and set up access. So unfortunately it doesn't do it automatically, but you just click start and it's saying it's, not, it's basically going to say it can't find anything, which is fine. Choose the LAN network. We'll skip this for the time being. Just run through the setup. It's saying there's no elements found, which is fine. Let it prepare unify access. That's no problem. So you can see in here, um, there's no locations. There's no elements, there's just my user, default policies, no visitors. So we go down here to the bottom and go to preferences, go to backup and recovery, and then we'll do restore from backup. Um, so let's just restore that one. So it's completed the restore, but actually, if you look at this, it, it's almost done a partial restore. So it's done the first floor. It's done the, it doesn't find any elements. It's got a couple of users. It doesn't have the cards. They're not restored. Policies, there's a couple. So it's not done a full restore. And actually, if I go back to my devices, I can see that the UA Hub and the UA Lite still have a 192 address, which is not what we want. So. I've gone ahead and given them a static IP, 10 .10, uh, so 173, and this one is 190. So I've gone ahead and given them static IPs, but just to speed along the process, I'm just going to quickly go and reboot um, the devices. So just a quick recycle of the um, Unify Access products, and you can see they've picked up the static IP, which is great. So now if we go back to access and do a restore again, restore from backup. We'll give that a minute and we'll let that restore. Okay, um, so that's just got off and done the restore and it's brought us back to this page. So if we go back into access, uh, this looks a little bit better. So you can see there's some issues just here. So we'll go through it. Um, the locations are there, there's one door group, you can see the elements now, so it's just probably trying to talk to this at the moment, so it's just setting its communication up, um, and that's it up there. You can see now the users and the NFC cards are fully restored, so the cards are all set up to where they were. Policies, exactly, it's got the demo one that we set up a little while back and visitors so it has a setup of the visitors as well and any logs there we have it so we've restored all the items back um, to its original settings i hope you found this video useful so one tip i would give you is to unplug your switch and anything else that's connected to your udm pro while i was going through this whole process everything decided to give itself a new ip which caused me more more problems going forward so if you're going to restore your UDM Pro, just unplug it from your switch, core switch, wherever it's plugged into. Don't let your devices pick up a new IP address. Other than that, the steps are fairly simple. You go through, just make sure you keep a backup of all your items. 
If you've liked what you've seen today, do hit that like button and press subscribe for more weekly videos. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.